Hello, everyone. Let's see here. Uh, again, I don't think there's anything here that I gotta do. Alright, and we're picking up where we left off with uh, X3 to start with. Hopefully, I mean, the plan is to try to get through all this and then at least a decent chunk through X4 tonight, so we'll see. But gonna do it! Shoot the big bees. Kind of get the feeling that extra shots didn't do much there. Good thing they decided to attack us with their tiny, fragile cannon guys. Their army of tiny little, fragile cannon guys. Mac! It was here specifically just for this cutscene. Like I'm supposed to know who the fuck Mac is. Uh, 
And then the first time you ever get to play is zero. One down. Okay. I'm gonna do it. There you go. <laughs> All right. Max thought he could compete with the Saber. Since this is back when the Saber was overpowered as fuck. But it was also back when Zero had a properly, you know, functioning buster arm. the giant, Moa the giant, something like that. Is dude bro's name? Second victim of a uh, intro first boss syndrome that X has. Actually started X too, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, he's in a hole. <laughs> Call me if you need me. Okay. I don't actually remember much of X3. Other than a few, like, critical things. Like, I remember that you don't want to get any of the red capsules. And then you want to make sure to take out Vile with his weakness. Otherwise, like, heart tank location and shit, I'm going to be just winging that. Uh, let me see here. I do know that I like that, uh, I think. Toxic Seahorse had the easy to get heart tank. Hmm. Hello, Medinawa? Medinawa. Medinawa. Am I saying that right? One of those has to be right, I think. Oh, hi. Okay, so that's your Twitch name. All right. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. Did you, if you want me to give you the stream follower tag on the Discord, just let me know, by the way. And I can give you the tag so you can get notified whenever I go live. Um, b -b -b start with Blizzard. 
Oh, that's right. The robot intros in this one are like super long. <laughs> Start with the buffalo. I do love his music, though. I have no armor yet. Yet. Okay. Animated interest in the PS1 version, that's true. Oh, the SNES version had the animated intros and then the remixed music as well. But it also was never translated. Fuck off. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be having a struggle for a little while. Until I get a grasp on things again. It's just been a while since I played X3, so... Oh yeah, that's one of the problems with X3 is fucking, you take a lot of damage. But, again, once you get the armor, it cuts down the damage substantially, so. I don't remember where the uh, body armor is, though. So I'll have to figure that out. Hey, buddy. Like I was telling, uh, I suck at gaming on the, uh, stream chat. I don't remember much from X3 other than the two, like, key points of, uh, don't get the red capsules and make sure to kill Vial with the, uh, his weakness. Fuck off. Hey, buddy. Woo! I missed the jump. Can you... What? I missed the jump! I may have to do this level a few times to get this going. I have a feeling X3 is going to take quite a bit more work, just because I don't remember any of it. Hell, I barely remembered a lot of things in X2. It's probably going to get worse as we go on, too, because I don't remember much from uh, here on out. But that's okay. Because that makes it fun. And I gotta rediscover all this shit. I'm not speedrunning anything anyway. Okay, so I gotta... Yeah. Oop! There we go. Okay, that's the blue one. That's a blue one. That capsule's okay. Or even straight up. Okay. And now I have to go back. 
get a sub tank. Woo! Actually, can I even get the sub tank with this? Maybe. gonna be a slow going process with this one I think but that's okay because X3 is still good so really okay fine uh, I already lost both lives didn't I yep well this ain't gonna go well. If I remember correctly, there's a lot of shit I can't get until I um, get some robot armors. Okay, so I got the leg, I got the first sub tank. I remember... Toxic Seahorse has a heart tank that's easy to get. Um... I wanna say Neon Tiger's heart tank is pretty easy to get too. I can't quite recall. Yeah, the guy who froze me and still shoots over my head. Brilliant. Alright, let's go for that heart tank. Just because I know that that's where one of the heart tanks is. Let's just go for it. Get it out of the way. I want to say Volt Catfish has another easy heart tank as well. One of the uh, better Robot Masters in this game. Or one of the better Mavericks, I guess, if we're... I really do need that armor, don't I? But yeah, I think there's a lot of things I can't get in this game until I get a uh, robot armor to summon. health right there and I just masked it. Heart tank, I believe, is yes. Of course. Ah oh, well. Oh hey they jump. I didn't even know those guys jump. I've always just shot him with a normal buster up until now. I felt the sub tank a little bit at least. Fill out the sub a doob a doob tank. Sub a doo. Not really. Like, what was the purpose of, it, of these robots when he made them? He's like, I want to make a robot that flies up and down and just shoots sparks every once in a while. That's all it does. That's its only purpose. At least with the cannon guys, you could be like, okay, they got an artillery use. Yeah, there's a lot of collectibles in the game. Especially if you end up going for the red... Uh, Capsules. Which I will not be because I am aware of that. Okay. 
Hey, buddy. I'm not too worried about bit and bite whenever they start happening. Because luckily it's not fucking Mega Man X2 where I have to kill them within a certain time frame. Yeah, I don't have any armor yet. Ah! Which cancels out like half the things I can get if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, he's got a mini boss, doesn't he? A helmet in this level? Maybe. I don't remember. The only one I remember was the leg. Otherwise, I'm kind of winging it. Oh, uh, well, I do... Okay. Well, there I do remember there being a capsule. In, well, there's a capsule in every level, to be honest. Because you've got the fucking red capsules. But I remember where the capsule is in... Uh, Tunnel Rhino. Because you need the... Uh, whatever the electric move is called. And actually the arm cannon, because you need to have the powered up version of it. And I think both of the spots, I think Tunnel Rhino needs whatever the electricity is, because he does, I remember X doing like a ground pound, and then the rock that's hanging in front of it falls. Ah! I misjumped. That was my fault. That was my fault. No turtle. Okay, we're good. Uh, I do remember having to use gravity for uh, the platform and bolt catfish. I don't know what that leads to. I don't know if that was the heart tank or if that was the... Actually, that might have been the capsule for the stage, I think. Because the heart tank is the... You just take the elevator up, isn't it? Didn't know he dropped health. All right, whatever. Yep. Then he pulls it back. I always hated how the little electrical balls on those things like deflected shots. That's the only thing I remember using uh, 
Gravity Beetle's move for, other than, you know, the usual weaknesses. But as for, like, actual stage usage, yeah, that's the main thing I remember is the platformer and little catfish stage. Because I remember when I was little, when I first played this, I was, I sat to that platform for the longest fucking time trying to figure out what it was. How to make that damn thing move. What up, Toxic? I jump into it. I have to just fuck it. Oh, that time you just straight spit one fast. Ah! Okay, um, the only other item I remember being able to get at this point is a uh, Volt Catfish's heart tank. Let's just go ahead and get it, since I know that's one thing. Because I remember for him, it's just a matter of uh, one of the elevators you just got to take without getting off. And, uh,. Second floor, there's it's there. I do remember that. This is the one that goes down the vial. Right, is this the elevator I'm thinking of? We'll find out. Probably gonna die a few times trying to figure out which one it is. Oh, not this one. Ah! means the gravity beetle thing is probably for well it could be for one of the armors I guess but it's probably for uh, one of the capsules the problem is is it, is it one of the capsules I want a blue capsule or a red capsule if it's a red capsule I don't want that shit This is the one that leads to the... Yeah, because there's the platform that you need Gravity Beetles thing for. that either. I think I need a set of armor for that too, don't I? Because up here is the armor thing, right? Yeah. It's all coming back to me as I do it. Yeah, because you need to land here with a set of armor, and then you go down and there's a sub tank.
bunch of crab last. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to uh, down bolt catfish without his weakness. Although, if I remember, really, if I remember correctly at all, the Mavericks in this one actually aren't terrible, except for, um, I think Crush. Crush Crawfish is pretty fucking rough. No, I'll give it a shot, see what happens. Hello! Flop off the gate, huh? Okay, so I should have gone around and jump. Probably got more attacks than that, though, so. Did I die? On the way there at all? Oh no, that was the first time. Okay. But okay. I mean, if I really wanted to tear through this, all I would do is play the Zero mod, and then I could just Z Saber every boss I see. I don't like that. Ah, the double. Jump. Oh, this is new. To go here, and just oh, he does like a little flop afterwards. Okay. option is to go up here and just pray to God that shit doesn't hit you. That? Flower that? Oh, they, he sent them all up in my direction that time. Alright. Yeah, I figured I was going to have a rough time with this one. Um, I don't remember any easy to get stuff. Except for maybe... Okay. A two-shot sword. That he missed, that he just apparently didn't have the first game. Um, can I get... I think uh, it was either Neon Tiger or Blast Hornet, so let's try those. I think there's a heart tank I can get with the leg piece. I can't remember if it's Blast or Neon. We'll find out! Fuck it! Ah, uh, yes, my least favorite robot master. Or, not my robot master, but Maverick. My least favorite Maverick! Isn't there something, like, underneath, too? Maybe it's a different one. Yeah, if I, if I, um... Remember my playthroughs correctly. Uh, I usually ended up either doing Neon Tiger or Blizzard Buffalo to start. 
but I'm also just going through and picking up what I can at this point to make things, you know, a little bit easier. Yep. This is just a, yeah. Another platform that I don't have any armors yet for. Is it over here? It is. Okay. There's something up there. Hmm. There's something up there, and I wants is it. First, so you get everything easy. I mean, Jesus, wow, that's a picky fucking jump. All right, never mind. We'll go over to Neon. But then, how are you supposed to get that one normally? Maybe a suit of armor. Yeah, probably need armor to go across the gap. All right, uh, yeah, let's see what we're talking about with Neon here. I think there's an easy to get um, sub tank here, isn't there? Oh, yeah, I'm, yeah, mask, I know. That's why I said that jump is super fucking picky. Because I remember you don't want to kill those. Is there anything even up here? Maybe it's later on that you don't want to kill this. Bamboo missile. Yep, yep, there's a sub tank, okay. Yep. Really? <sighs> oh, well, thank you for coming underneath me there. Okay, so there's a sub tank. Yep. Waste your time. Okay, it looks like I need Tunnel Rhino or, or the armor for that. I think Tunnel Rhino, though. about you, Mr. Giant Centipede Man. Look here. He had the hit points that uh, fucking ground man's mini boss should have had. Ground man's mini boss has like eight million hit points though. Oh yeah, here's the armor thing. Okay, the ride armor. Up here. Nope. Just checking to be safe. How about over here? Yep. Nope. I'm exploring. Nope. 
Okay, so this is probably the bit fight room. We aren't even out and about yet, so whatever. Ah. All right, so I got at least a couple hard tanks to work with. Uh, I died once in a way here, didn't I? No, I didn't. Okay. All my deaths are blurring together. I don't even know anymore. Keyboard out. You on a phone? One of these days, I'll get by one of these guys. Uh, problem is, I don't know if there's anything else I can get before I get weapons now. We came back. No, 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 oh, oh, oh. no, dear. I got the hang of it now. We're good. I just need to get that refresh back in my head. Takes a few runs, you know. Then it clicks back again. You're like, oh yeah. I mean, that is true. I have two sub tanks, so. I got what, three heart tanks, two sub tanks? So I could at least probably take people out just by brute force if I have to. I do remember that, yes, about the uh, invincibility frames.
Now, what I don't remember is who's weak to Ray Splasher. Um, is it gravity? No. Is it gravity? Might be gravity. Because I want to say Hornet is weak to gravity. And then I remember Tunnel Rhino being weak to acid. Uh, I mean, if I beat oh, Beetle, let's put the Beetle out. No, oh, nothing there. I do need to take out Tunnel Rhino, though, because there is a lot that Tunnel Rhino blocks that his weapon gets through. Eh, fuck it, let's just do Beetle. Uh, X series Earth was dominated by furries, or you have an explanation of why people make new more robots to animal rods. Um, I don't have any explanation, but I also think you're looking a little too hard into it. I mean, you could tell me if you want, but it's my option of whether or not to listen to you. Oh, fuck off. Oh, really? All the way down. Yep. There's missiles fucking everywhere. I get the feeling that there is something over here as well. Because there is. Ah! I'm gonna get to that. Okay, and I'm back in the trouble spot again. Good. That's what I wanted. I didn't even check if I don't even have lives either, do I? Nope! I got shit. Okay, so that's where the heart tank is, but it's behind some boxes. At least now I have a riot armor to work with. Although I don't know which one that is. F. Whatever that means. You have to defeat the bee. 
Last Hornet? Last Hornet, my least favorite Maverick ever. Oh, hey, extra life. How you doing? I'll take it. You're just gonna give it to me. Fuck it. Nobody's curious as to why it's my least favorite Maverick ever. Uh, the reason is actually pretty simple. Uh, IRL, I have a fear of bees. That's it. That's the only reason. Just because I have a fear of bees, IRL. Ooh, there's something here. Uh, yeah, I don't like Hornet Man that much either. Although. With Hornet Man, I do absolutely love how useful his weapon is. Traumatic experience. Uh, I actually didn't know this until like a few years back. Um, my grandma told me that apparently when I was like three, she had a farm uh, that she would babysit me on. And apparently I got it. I uh, went to go get in like one of those uh, toy cars that you'd like sit in and like ride around with your feet. And uh, it had a nest in it. And I don't remember this at all, but uh, she told me this story, and then later on, my dad verified it. He's like, oh yeah, that happened. I was like, oh, well that explains a lot. Because I always wondered why I, was so, why I was so jumpy around bees. And I was like, oh, well that explains why. Yep, it's definitely the race flasher. Hip. 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 Uh, one thing I don't remember about X3 is, is there a time limit on bit, byte, and file? Or is it just do it before you go to the fortress? Hello, Legion. How goes it? Well, I don't have the arm piece yet, so I can't go back to... Um... Bolt Catfish! Okay, so I have to do it before Doppler's unlocked. So if that's the case, I have to remember what Vile's weakness is. Bit and bite don't really matter. Even if you take them out beforehand, everything still proceeds like normal. The big one is Vile. I have it already? What is it, Race Flasher? Mysterious Maverick! 
I have no clue who this could possibly be. Could it be Bill? Stephanie? Or Humperdinck? If you defeat the Maverick in the stage you're in without defeating him, you can no longer face him. Uh, I believe that's the case for Bit and Bite. Is that? I don't think that's the same case for Vile, though. I think Vile's just got the teleporters you gotta go through. I can't quite remember 100%, though. They say I have it already, so that means it's either Gravity Well or Race Splasher. Ha <laughs> ha! Deduction! Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. There's a lot of stuff that's locked behind Tone right now. Because they, I, I do remember them putting a lot of stuff behind fucking Tunnel Rhino walls. Or stuff that just gets damaged by Tunnel Rhino. So I think at this point I need to go either after Tunnel or Hornet. And I got Hornet's weakness. Because I need to go to Hornet in order to get my um, ride armor going. And I need the ride armor for a couple different things. I want to say most of the ride armor stuff's actually in fucking crawfish. So. Let's. Let's go to Hornet first, just so I can get the ride armor thing. Get that ride armor rolling. Plus, I have his weakness, so... Not too worried about Bit and Bite, because... I don't, I don't remember them being terribly difficult. Vile, I remember being a little tricky, but I just have to find a spot that has a, uh... well, actually, yeah, Vault, uh, Vault Catfish had that one Vile teleporter, like, right at the beginning. That'll work. I do want to beat up a bee, yes, that, that does bring me joy. Still not entirely sure about this. Imagine you gotta get the Ryan armor to get up to that. That is a super sensitive jump. Did I already get the... I don't think I got his heart tank yet, did I? Or anything down here is just a big hole. Oh, I'll take that for the sub-tanks. Uh, yeah, that's just a hole. Okay. Oh, the fucking, yeah. Another one of their 3D models they're so proud of. Really? Can you fucking stop? Take that as a no. I do like beating up on bees, since you know, fear and all. Oh, 
they respawn. Neat. Cause this still doesn't work, right? Until I get the default armor or whatever. I'm gonna hit him with Ray Splasher and see if he dies. Probably not, but fuck it. From here on out, we're just kind of winging it most of the time anyway. Ah, with the Ray Splasher, you can kind of control what he's doing here. Okay. Keep hitting him! I live. Okay. I don't think there's anything up here, way up here in the sky. Nope. Yes, that's another fucking tunnel rhino wall, isn't it? Hey! I'll take a heart tank. Why the fuck not? Thirty-three percent chance of running into one of these two, and here we are. Oh, shit, I didn't bait him properly. Oh well. Okay, um... I mean, yeah, I got a lot of shit that's locked behind fucking Tunnel Rhino at this point, so fuck it. Thought, eh, thought, have you thought in how weird? Okay, hang on. Uh, how weird 2D action should be feeling after seeing a 3D first spot? Not really. I'll get up there. Hit. Oh, is that why I'm not going up so high? Okay, I get it. No, oh, these guys, okay. Well, oh. Yep, yep, okay, here's rock number one. There's the hard tank, alright.
really? Come on. Come on. I mean, come on. Oh no, I get hit with dirt and I die. Another sub tank, all right, I'll take it, sure. Get lots of sub tanks, aren't I? Was that three? Yeah. Uh, in the last one, I know where it's at. It's in the catfish stage. Okay, good. Whew. Come on, don't be in that stage. No, oh, fine, I'm leaving. This is... No, it's not here. Is it further along that there's the other one? Something down here. No. Maybe I think of another hole somewhere else. Oh god. Yep, yep, there's the other one. Okay. Rocks! Oh yeah, this guy. guy's name like hell something he doesn't even have a big drill it's just it's just it's just a spike it's not even a drill Fuck off, it'd be nice. Thank you. Ow. You forget that he shoots those after he dies. Oh, I got lives, right? Okay, I got a couple lives to work with. They so can figure out the tunnel here. There's apparently a lot of shit that I need that tunnel has blocked. How you doing, bud? Having a good time down here in the hole? Okay. I did a fucking. I remember him doing that too. 
where you'd put the brakes on occasionally, just to be a dick. Oh, that's new. Ooh, the turbo one. No, 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 no. Use the thing. There you go. Didn't even need to. Oh well. Now it's time for a collectathon. I can think of at least two things immediately that I want to go get. I probably need to go back to the Gravity Beetle stage and see if I can bust through any of that too. Okay, so let's go hit that wall here first. See what's behind that. Did I get the uh, heart tank here? I think I did. It's one thing that's nice about the headpiece in this game. Is it'll fucking just tell you. Be like, yeah, you got everything here. Fuck, why'd you respawn? Like you literally just came out of nowhere. Okay, two, I can just jump. Okay. Uh, it was over here, wasn't it? Yeah, after dealing with these wall your kids All right, so is this drill yeah it is all right we'll go a hole with spikes okay do a blue one I need the blue one one's this? Oh, the arm! Okay, cool! Yes, charge special weapons. I know exactly what I'm gonna do with it. I gotta take it over to fucking Bolt Catfish stage and use the gravity there. Yeah, how, how useless the helmet upgrade. Especially in X2. The helmet upgrade in X2 is really dumb. Because at least in X1, there was you had to use it to get some other things. X2 was literally pointless. Right, I think I'm done here. But, I mean, I guess I'll find out. I don't remember much with the helmet upgrades for all the other games. But, I also don't remember too much of the other games anyway. Like, Legion, I told everybody else, uh, starting with this one, I'm pretty much just going to kind of be winging it, because there's going to be very little I remember from each of them. In regards to capsules and shit, but that's okay, because that makes it fun.
Okay, so that was one of the two things I wanted to do. The other one was Hornets, because I wanted to get the ride armor thingy. Did I think that was a drill wall? We'll see. And now that I got the powered up uh, arm, I can go to Bolt Catfish as well and use uh, the gravity on that. She what that gives me. Why is my arm so huge? It's gigantic. Because I still can't use this, right? got so far right now. Yeah. Only got three down so far, huh? Okay. Brings me down to almost nothing. That mini boss has tons of health. Alright. I have to go over here. Destroy the second batch. And then it was down here. Alright. Okay. Hopefully, this is drill. Looks like it. Yeah. Oh, yes. I'll take that. Thank you. Let's just see how far we go. Ah, who is it? Okay. You followed me here, did you? No, I mean, I guess while I'm at it. Let's see here. You, uh, you happen to be weak at any of these? Not that one. Nope. Probably not gravity well. He's not weak to any of those. guy's AI is set to drop from the sky and then keep a same Y elevation. Yeah. Alright. It's funny, after programming Day in the Limelight for a while, now I'm able to like look at things and be like, okay, I know how this AI is set up, I know how this AI is set up. 
ship. Whatever. Whatever, bit. I got what I wanted. Okay, uh, what was I saying I was gonna do? Oh, I was going to, um, see where the platform led. With now that I got the arm. Now that I got the arm! Okay, well, I guess I'm down here now. That's what I get for being hasty, I guess. I kind of am remembering that now, that the arm upgrade in this one is actually not fantastic. Mostly just literally for the powered up weapons. Right, is this the one I gotta ride up? Ride you up, and we gotta do this. Number. Ooh, it's a blue one too, which means it's something I need. Which one are you? Here, the armor. Okay, good. That'll help. Substantially. Because out of all the upgrades, the armor one in this game is like the most needed. This will help substantially. No, no bitter bite here? Okay. Uh, I also should be able to get the last sub-tank now, I think. sure if I take this over here and I just fall then the platform gives way Whee! yep and then that's the last sub tank yeah I do remember that cool so we're good on sub tanks right yeah sub tanks are done Dunzers with sub tanks fuck y'all
can I get another armor? Or is that one I still have? Okay, I want to see what this F is. What is the F? No! Ah! Frog! The F stands for frog! Okay. I shoot missiles. Ow. Shit. Right. Now that I'm taking half damage, this will be substantially better. Now that shit's not taking half my health bar in one shot anymore, this should be uh, much easier to work with. Give another shot to Volt Catfish, although it's probably not going to go well. Hello. Fatty, fat, fat, fat. He's just a fat, fat. that about the upward dash. I have to have just a fucking zerg it. And here comes my bad RNG. Yep, it's happening again. Oh, fuck you. Oh, he's just gonna spam the shit, isn't he? And then the RNG is going to hate me. RNG hates me. Yep, that's what's going to happen. And RNG. Yep. <laughs> Figured that was going to happen. Like, yep, as soon as he starts doing that fucking powered thing, it's just gonna RNG me to death. Alright. Hello. He goes in RNG mode anyway. There it is. Ow. Yep, I just gotta pray that the RNG works with me. With that, I think I got everything in his level, too. I think he's done. I mean, I'll come back once I get the helmet to verify, but I think I got everything.
This is unfortunately another game where the weapons aren't fantastic. I honestly can't think of like an X game where the weapons are actually like overall good other than the first one. Like every other X game doesn't have great weapons. Uh, anyway, so now that I got that, oh yeah, now I can fucking clear out Tidal Rhino or something fierce. Because I'm pretty sure that this is the ground slam thing, right? Yeah! Okay, so yep, I got what I need. I got what I need to bust through. Does X4 have pretty good weapons? Problem is, whenever I play X4, I always play as a zero. So. I don't know. Maybe this time I'll do X just to see. Alright. What am I doing this for? We got the fast. I'm pretty sure this is the case here, right? Am I do this? Yeah. Good. And then there's the other one that's further in the stage. I got a little overzealous there. That was my fault. The uh, problem is I that seems like the best weapon to go. I mean, for the most part. The, the, another big problem they have is that a lot of them, a lot of the weapons in X Games aren't good until you get the upgraded buster. But that was also the case with a few of the weapons in X1. Like, look at the uh, Chameleon Sting. Chameleon Sting wasn't that good until you got the until you got the upgraded arm. Then it was like, oh, it's the best thing ever. But yeah, I mean, none of the other than X1, I can't remember a lot of them being very good. X8, I don't remember much at all either. But I will be playing through X8 eventually, so I'll find out. But yeah, my question now is, when it comes to X4, maybe I should uh, try going through his X. I normally go through his zero. I don't know. There's just a there's just an inconsistency in the weapons in the X franchise that they haven't really been able to figure out, and possibly never will at this point. Because fuck, we don't even know if there's going to be another X game ever. So it's been what two generations since the last X game. Ooh, you're blue. You're the head! Yeah, X2 is PS3, so yeah, it's been quite a few generations since a uh, X game. So I don't expect to see another X game anytime soon.
It's okay. Just tell Capcom to hire me and put me in charge of Mega Man X. I'll, I'll take care of Mega Man X. I got it. All right. So that means every other capsule is red. I just happened to find all the blue ones. Actually, I think that's it for the stage, too, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's empty as fuck. Yeah, nowadays, I wouldn't trust them with it. I mean, yeah, that's another problem with the weapons, is that... When, he, when X gets, like, the full armor, there's a lot of armors. Especially after, like, X5. That are just super broken. Um, okay. So, now that I got this shit, um... So, Tunnel Rhino is clear. Let me check Neon. Oh, it tells you. Oh! Oh, I don't even need to check. It says so. Okay, I'll take RMP. I guess I hit me. Change H. Oh. oh, I'm done with the Apple Catfish, too. Okay. It tells me. Uh, so I need to get a life up and something else here. So let's see what that's about. Well, think about it, Mask. We got Mega Man 11, but it wasn't really that good. Ooh, that one's near the end. Okay. X3 probably had of the original of the original three X's. X3 probably had the best helmet upgrade. It's just giving you like a map where everything's at is just fantastic. No. How do I get? Let's see. Got to drill it. Nope. Oh! Wow, that's the first time I... Wow, it actually hurts people. Okay. That doesn't help. Nope, that doesn't do a thing. Oh, you just hold it. Oh, neat. Okay. Uh-oh, this is the anti-grab one, which I don't think will make a difference, but let's try it. Nope, that didn't do a thing. What's the race flasher? Uh, okay. Really? Your favorite X game is X6? That's interesting. X6 is one of my least favorites, to be honest. Need to beat the Hornet. Well, what? I mean, I have the gravity well. I can go beat him. Why do I need to beat him? Just because I have a fear of bees? Now let me go see what this other one is first. X5? Well, X5 wasn't that great either, to be honest. Although I thought X5 was better than X6. Some sub tanks while I'm at it.
I mean, I'm with everybody else when I say that my favorite is my least favorite is X7. X7 is the worst. I don't think there's any discussion in that one. I think that's one of the things that uh, people are kind of unanimously agreed on in that regard. And then X8. I didn't think X8 was as bad as some people thought. It wasn't great by any means, but it was definitely an improvement. over here. Nope, oh, nope, that's one of the capsules I don't want. No! Shoot! Okay. My biggest problems with X6 and X5, there's a bunch of little problems I have with both of them, but the big problem I have with both of them is this whole rescue system. I hate, hate the freaking rescue system. Also, when it comes to Duff McWhalen, I don't know why they chose to do a remix of Bubble Crab's theme rather than the theme they originally had. Because the original theme they had was better. Alright, anyway, um... I mean... Can I use the frog armor? I think I can use the frog armor here, can't I? I think I can, if I remember. But, yeah. In my opinion, the X franchise really started going downhill after 4. 4 was the last decent one. Then it started going really poopy. Until the uh, catastrophe that was X7. There's one there. What is up there? I don't remember that one. Okay. Well, I imagine one of those is the uh, King Capsule. The pink capsule of doom. Because I don't want to touch that shit. But I do think X8 gets a lot more flack than it actually than it actually deserves, mainly because it was definitely a step up from X7. Yep. Ah, you followed me here, did you? Well, I guess, since we got it. That does work. And we'll use that. There we go. 
big as fuck bed. I'm definitely not looking forward to playing through X7 when I get to that. Yeah, that, my biggest, one of my biggest gripes about the X franchise is after X4, they constantly did these stages that were like 100% vehicle. And I hated that. And X8, unfortunately, like you point out, is... X8, they really fucking went nuts with the vehicles. I'm a frog. Monk. There we go. Yeesh. Oh, get in the frog suit. Well, the problem I have with X6 is there's a several stages that are super gimmicky and short. Ground Scarevich and fucking Blaze Heatnix come to mind. Nope, don't want you. Mm -mm. Forgot about this. <laughs> there we go. I mean, but that's also a problem that comes into X8 with the gimmick stages. Mainly fucking Optic Sunflower. It's like, I liked it when things were just stages. When there wasn't, like, a gimmick that made the whole stage. You know what I mean? I didn't like it when... I don't like it when there's a level that's a 100% ride chaser or whatever it's called. I don't like... Short levels by gimmicks. Uh, X5 had one that was really bad. Fucking uh, Shield Child. No, that was 6, actually. Yeah, 6 had Shield Child. That was another gimmick stage that sucked. Yeah, because X6 had Heatnix, Scaravich, and Shield Child, and all three of those stages were super gimmicky. Then you had Majinian, which fucking had the mini boss the whole level chasing you. We're not even chasing you, really. You're just circling him. So yeah, like starting with Jet Stingray on X4, the level design just really went poopy in my eyes. X5 is guilty of it, X6 is guilty of it, X7 is guilty of all kinds of things. 
And even X8 has uh, several levels that are like, bleh. Oh yeah, the, it was a nightmare, because it, it was pretty much like trial and error. The Jet Stingray thing was pretty much trial and error, and then fucking... And then it was the whole stage. I'm like, no, I don't want a whole stage where I'm driving. That's why, like, um, I point out, everybody's like, oh, well, they had the bike in X2. I'm like, yeah, but it was 100% optional to use the bike for Overdrive Ostrich. And if you lost the bike, the bike just got destroyed and you continued like a normal stage. Come right at me, huh? Well, I mean, once you get the armor, you can almost zerg just about every robot. Make the one. Yes, you can. I know what jump you're talking about too. You have to climb a wall, but yeah. But I mean, when it comes to X um, Infinity Magician, yeah, the Infinity Magician thing, I could. It's better than Shield Sheldon and Heat Nix and. Fucking Scaravage was just garbage. Scaravage was garbage both in the stage and in his fucking music. Oh god, his music was garbage. I think freaking Ground Scaravich's theme is like the only song in the X franchise that I can't listen to without being like, no, shut it off, I hate it. Alright, was that everything? Yeah, because that's the capsule, which I don't care about. He's clear. Life up, foot part. Well, I also have to deal with the file, so... Uh, let's just get file out of the way. Let's just get it done. Let's just get file out of the way. Stop dropping garbage on me. How full am I, my sub tanks? Eh, three of them. So, I mean, I could just, I can just say that X5 has its problems, X6 has its problems. And then X7 is, is is literally just a big problem. But then X8 picked it up okay, but still wasn't fantastic. What up? I'm trapped it. 
Yeah, this is only round two. There's another, there's there's round three with Vile come X8. That's why. Okay, he's got that. Okay, he's got that tunnel rhino effect. One of my big problems with uh, X7 and X8 is how much I hate Axel. Okay, so I'm gonna try Ray first. Oh, okay, well, that'll work. couple periods. File explode again. Time to move. So that takes care of Vile. Uh, looks like I got another armor. So now, with Vile dead, I just have to remember to take uh, Zero into the second stage of Doppler. Um. So we're gonna hear. Let's take put up. Imagine that's what it's that's what's at that one jump. In it. In it. Alright, let's go. Question mark here. Oh, change H. Okay, so there's another one here. Uh yeah, let's do that then. That'll get me the last armor. The ride armor, I mean. Oh, I'm not. I might not get it yet either. I, 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 I might blow it to zero. Matter of fact, there's a pretty good chance of it. Yeah, they're all like pretty early. Okay. Right, so which one's K? F is frog. N is normal. What's K? 
K is oh, Spiky Boy. Bye. Whatever it is, it's not up here. Okay. No, I... I need that, actually. Get out of there. There you go. Hit! Say it was over here. Yeah. Car tank. Yay. Now, fuck you. Was it down here? Yes. But this is just another. Is this another, uh. Get out of there. Nope, pink capsule, don't want it! Well, armor, you're stuck down here now, forever. Uh, so yeah, what's left? Bite? Yeah. No, speak of the devil. Not that stop punching. Stop punching. Stop punching. <laughs> stop the stop a punch. He does he's just a punch man. I never understood this part, to be honest. Like, why does he just fall from the sky and break everything? Who put him on the ceiling so that he can just fall and ruin everything? Alright, come on down, bite. I gotta we'll go over round two here, but. Now I got the timing down. We're good. Okay, so that takes care of all the uh, optional bosses.
Yeah, the Buster in X3 is not that good. The Buster upgrade, anyway. The problem with the Buster in X3 is that uh, when you fire it fully charged, it stops you in your tracks. This is a destructible wall. Okay, that's it. No. Uh, fuck it. Hey! Drill comes through again. Didn't even need to bother. Oh well. Which is gonna suck if I don't, because Crush Crawfish with other weakness is a little, a little bit of a bitch. He's like the one guy in here that's like still rough. Now it could could be Ray Splasher because I use that on uh, Gravity. So it's got to be, well, it doesn't have to be any of these, but if I'm going to try them, yeah, maybe the Thunder? If not, it's either that or the Drill, but... Uh. Let's see. Yep. Which is good, because... Trying to fight him without without his weakness is a bitch. I already took care of all the sub bosses, so it don't matter. It, it don't matter if I kill them all now. So what I need two more, two more hard tanks. It looks like yeah, one of them's in Blizzard Buffalo, and I think they said the other one's in. No, I got Hornets. So where's the other heart tank? One of them's in Blizzard. I'll have to check when I get out there. So let me see. Uh, yeah, one's in Blizzard. I got that one. I got that one. I haven't found the Change H. Where's that Change H at? Life up there. Oh, it's here. Yeah. 
So I need to find where this change H is. Let me see what the helmet has to say. It says it's down below? Yeah, it's early on, but okay. So it's like down here? Fuck off. I'm busy. This isn't another uh, me slapping the ground situation, is it? It is! And there's a the change age. Okay. So now I can get the fuck out. Life up. Yeah, let's get the life up. Then we'll go after Hornet. I wonder what the ideal rotation is for this game to get everything as quickly as possible. Oh, it's rather early on. Okay. Oh, is it right here? It's right here, isn't it? So much H. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's pretty. That's how I'm supposed to get to the fucking oh. Fuck, fuck you! Alright, just. Alright. Oh. Yep, there it is. Uh, oh, damn it! As soon as I figured out what was happening, it was too late! Okay, well now I know. Oh, it already broke the ice. Okay, that's nice. Nice of the ice. <laughs> there we go. Pretty sure that was all I was missing from this stage, right? It was just the uh, life up. I just want that for my sub tank. Really? You respawn and me going off the screen and coming back? Alrighty! Come on down, snow rock monster. Am I full? On so oh, I am full! Yay! So thank you for the follow there, Eeyore Yagami of the Blood.
playing retro over yourself? What you playing? And hey, Ash, what you playing? Uh. I, hmm. I don't know a Blizzard week against. I can't remember. Oh, PS2, okay. Whoa! Blizzard and Buffalo. Now. That's a big ice beam. I got so much health now, I'm just gonna zerg it. Shaolin Monks. Woo! That's a rough one. Given it's nowhere near as uh, bad as, um, what the fuck was it? Sub-Zero? I think it was? The one that was on the 64? Ugh. Oh yeah, it's not bad. Shaolin Monks ain't bad. But yeah, the I think I wanna say it's it's, it's a sub zero or one of those N sixty four. I wanna say it was a sub zero game on the N sixty four is the one that was just absolute balls. Uh, yeah, so now he's gonna do what's up. Hornet. Yeah, the Jax game was terrible too. Yep, yep, that was a bad one. Maybe it is the Sub Zero one I'm thinking of then. No. Okay. Well, if you say that, then it must be the Sub-Zero game I'm thinking of that is uh, atrocious. Speaking of Iori Yagami, I gotta get to... I gotta keep an eye on King of Fighters 15. See if that goes on sale anytime soon. I do need armor. I need the flight armor. Uh, which is H? Misses! Nope, 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 don't want it. Don't want the pink. No. This armor's the best. No, I'm not gonna get the pink. I wanna get the gold armor later on, so no pink. Uh, I'm gonna try 
try this. I mean, at least the weapons in the X franchise don't use a lot of energy. Hey, he listed my favorite Mortal Kombat character in that batch. See if anybody can guess which one it is. There's only a certain list of names there, so you're going to guess it right eventually. Alright, so the last thing that was missing here was a fucking pink capsule, which I don't want. It's one of the few things I remember from X3, is that I don't want the pink capsule. And then I have to kill Vile with his weakness. Boxes! Oh no! Uh, I do remember his weakness. His weakness is... Where are you at? Yeah, right there. Grab anyone. I do remember Blast Hornet's weakness. Stop! Oh, he's doing that, that's why. Alright, so that takes care of the base 8 bosses. I gotta go do a little bit of cleanup. I think all I gotta do is get the other life up, isn't it? Yeah, because I got all the uh, sub-tanks, I got all the armor pieces other than the pink capsules. And I got all the, um, ride armors. So, yeah, I think I just gotta go get this last life up, and then I am good to go. Really? Couldn't fit that on the last page? The special abilities. Oh, get used to that, Zero. He's alive for at least five more games after this.
point dick. For good, he says. Okay, so who is it? Gravity? Yeah, gravity's got the last life up that I need. Alright, so let's get in there and find it. Oh wait, I know where it's at. It's behind those boxes. Alright, yeah. It's behind those boxes near the beginning of the stodger. Yeah! Because that second one was the pink capsule. Oh, hey. Interesting. These enemies got changed after I killed Blast? Interesting. Wait, what? This whole stage got changed. The fact Oh. Okay. Got it. <laughs> uh, so that should be everything, right, guys? Got all the armor sets, sub tanks, those, all the weapons. I think that's it. I think I'm ready to go Doppler. Go get the gold armor. Well, I'll know for sure, because it's the first stage anyway, so. Ah, oh, yes. Now, if I remember, it's, um, it's in a hole somewhere, isn't it? Okay, well, fine. We'll do this instead, then. Not that hole. Not that hole. Not that hole. Oh, fuck you. Again with the crushy walls. Didn't work in X2. Oh, it's Rex. Forgot about Rex. Okay. Okay. He's like, hey, don't call me junk. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Oh, 
fine. I'm leaving then. I don't even care that much. Get it! Or don't. Oh, it's this one. Yeah. What? What did I do wrong? I must have done something wrong. What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? What happened? Where? What did I do? What did I do wrong? Let me get back out to the stage select then. Do I maybe have to activate the capsules but not actually go into them? Is that what it is? You have to have full health? Oh, okay. All right, well, let's try it again then. I felt it clip and then it just killed me. I felt the like the stick of on the wall and then it just died. Is that the problem? Well we'll find out. What I'll do is I'll just like farm the enemies beforehand if I need health. First time. Did you not play any of the X's before now? You did, but you never really liked them? Oh, okay. Well. To each his own. Yes, yes, I'm aware. Also, you don't actually uh, keep the ceiling from collapsing on me, so you lied to me.
Interesting that you say you never really liked them. Usually, uh, you're in the you're in the super minority then, because most people absolutely love X1 at least. But to each his own. Full health. Okay, did not know that. You liked X1 and X2, but this one's... Uh, eh, I wouldn't say it sucks. I wouldn't say it's as good as X1 or X2, but... Sucked is too strong a word. Especially as soon as you start playing uh, the later ones. Play X7, and you will adore X3. <laughs> oh, I am not looking forward to when I have to go through X7. When are we racing? Uh, probably never if it comes to the X games, because I don't really, if it's any Mega Man game, I don't really have that much faith in my uh, ability to play these. Except for maybe X1. X1 is like the only one that I know, like pretty much inside and out. X6 is worse than X7 in my opinion. I mean, that's, Argumentable or possible as well. I, I don't like X6 either, so. But I think X6 is better than X7. X7 is like bottom of the fucking barrel. When are we racing? Oh boy. Definitely not gonna be racing X3. Tell you that much. If I race anything, it's gonna be uh, X1. Hello. Turns out I don't need bit at all. <laughs> oh, but I want to say. Oh, is it race blaster for this motherfucker? if I don't get grabbed every 10 seconds. Can you? We got a lot of uh, non-weakness frames under, boy. Thank you, Rain Cloud. Only had the arm and leg upgrades for the Sigma was fun. You're talking X1? Or which which game you talk about that you only had the leg and arm upgrade? This one. Oh, oh yeah. Sigma could be rough on this one. I was thinking in the first game that means you didn't even get like the Hadoken or anything. Didn't get the Hadouken, didn't get the Shoryuken in the second one. Okay, so... Oh, I mean, I'll take that, sure. Fuck off!
Alright, well, we're gonna go up now. Alright, crap, crap. Up, oh, stop! Water down here, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, oh, there's just a big hole there. Got it. <laughs> I mean, fuck it, I'm not even gonna take the armor now. Do, 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 do. Get him! Get him! Oh yeah, that's why I'm. That's why I'm saying I'm probably better off just going down here without any fucking armor. Because at least then I have the maneuverability to work with. That's right, I got the gold armor now. Forget about that. So I can dash a whole bunch of times. Alrighty, here we are, boys. See if I fuck it up. Hey, buddy. Bonk. Oh no, he touched me! <laughs> I'm allergic to mosquitoes! So now I should have everything. Boom, boom. Boom. Yeah, yo. Yeah. I think the whole reason I ever really liked the X Games is that you can never get everything in weakness order. You have to revisit the stage to get hard tanks and stuff. Eh. I mean, I actually like that about the X franchise. But. Everybody's got their thing. Look at my health regen.
Alrighty. Well, now that I got the beam saber and the gold armor, let's fucking just go, boys. My problems with the X franchise starts pretty much after X4. Everything just starts going downhill at that point. Oh yeah, this fucking snail segment. Oh, I forgot about this, this sucks. Yeah, trust me, I like to imagine fi uh, X5 and X to the X8 doesn't exist. I mean, to be honest, the only one I wish didn't exist was fucking 7. Seven is the only one that I'm just like, oh, why is this even a thing? The other ones are at least passable. But X7 in particular is just absolute trash. That's right, fucking damn it. I forgot that one's a trap. Now I have to go through this all again? Okay. I forgot that that one's a trap. Ride the snail. How many lives do I got anyway? Oh, oh dear. That's no good. No, I have to figure out what this guy's weakness is pretty quick. Dup duh, an X4, if they replaced the double Irish with X0, they could have ended everything in X4. I mean, they could have. But they opted for the money route. 
I didn't fight this. Um, you fought Vile at stage two, didn't you? Instead of uh, Squid Boy. Okay. With X3, there's a bunch of little factors that you can do in the main game that change who you fight in the Final Fortresses. In the first stage, for example, uh, who did you fight in the first stage? Did you fight the two robots combined, or did you fight like the trash compactor looking thing? So the two robots put, combined into one. If you take those two guys out in the normal stages with their weaknesses, then you have to fight a completely different boss in the first stage. In the second stage, if you don't take out Vile with his weakness, or don't fight him at all, then you fight Vile in the second stage instead of the uh, octopus thing I had. There's a couple things there that change depending on what you do. Uh, yeah, if you don't use his weakness, then he comes back in the fortress as a fight. But if you use his weakness, he will explode. Alrighty, how do I want to go about this? Let's do the two in the middle first. Who we got? Toxic. Uh, I don't know who Toxic is weak against. Frost? Yep. find out. Looks like Blizzard. Yep. Can you not? Oh jeez. How oh, low are you coming? Honk. No! Doesn't look like he spams the ice thing to me. He did it like once or twice, and that was it. Uh, 
Alrighty, we're just gonna go in a sweep here. Who's next? Ah, yeah, I know what your weakness is. You are gravity well. He's like, no, gravity! Fuck. Oh, whatever. That'll do. Black hole bomb that's not as good as the black hole bomb. But it's also the one that came out way before black hole bomb. did Mega Man 9 come out? Was that like, what was that, like 2000... I want to say like 2010, maybe? Was Mega Man 9? Or was it earlier than that? Did that Nate? Okay. Who next? This looks like Bolt. Yep. Uh, he is, I remember his, he's weak to drill. Fuck off. Trying to hit him with the fully charged shot, but it's being weird. I mean, it helps here. So you can knock him out of the fucking invincibility that he's got. Do, 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 do. 2010 was Mega Man 10? Wow. Then it was like eight years before they did Mega Man 11. Uh, the thing on my very bottom. Oh, that's the hyper chip. See how my armor's gold? You get the hyper chip when you get the gold armor. Which, okay, you said you just played through X3 a few days ago. So to get the gold armor, you have to get all the life ups, all the sub tanks. You have to basically get all this shit. All the right armors on the bottom right there. You have to get all of them as well. I mean, it's close enough to the Giga Crush, to be honest. But uh, you have to get... The four pieces of armor, but not the upgrade chips. So, when you're out in the main stages, there's blue capsules, and then there's pink capsules. You want to stay away from the pink ones. You want the blue ones. And only the blue ones. If you go to a secret area in Doppler Stage 1, after meeting those requirements, then you get the gold armor. Who next? Oh, I know what your weakness is. You're weak to Ray Splasher. Oh, 
happens, you would have to break your rule. What is your rule? To never revisit stages? Okay, well, you're you can do what you want, but I I'm, I'm not I don't think don't think I am a, a, a supporter of that rule, but you can do what you want. Give me health, thank you. All right, who's next? Well, you're not going to have much of a good time with the X franchise just in general, then. Because going back and exploring and finding new things is uh, one of the big selling points of the X franchise. This one's acid. I do remember this. I just spew some acid on him. So, what I would recommend, Rain Cloud, since you don't like going back and revisiting stages, you're probably not going to be a fan of the X franchise just in general. So, I would advise just watching me instead. That way, you don't have to revisit stages. I do. So, your rule stays intact. Oh, we're broken. Uh, okay, so there's only two left. So, one of them's gonna be lightning, and the other one's gonna be the blade. So I'm gonna guess the lightning, which is crawfish, not tiger. It's crawfish! No, put me down. I kind of figured that would have hurt a little bit. Crush Crawfish is kind of rough. Out of all the bosses, Crush is probably the worst in this game. Crush is terrible in this game. Ooh, only two, huh? That sucks. Alright, so that means Neon Tiger is last. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I forgot. You just turn that shit up at him. The funny name though. Sucks I wasn't here for my Michelle. What? What is this my Michelle you speak of? Yes, health please. Ah! Oh, is it really based off that song? No, I didn't even know that.
What up, Doppler? I've been watching your battles closely with this giant eyeball in the background. No way, Jack. Turn into Sonic all of a sudden. Uh oh, I don't remember what your weakness is either. I want to say it's the blade, but we'll see. Nope, it ain't that. Acid. Oh, yeah. Oh, but he regenerates health, I see. Damn health regeneration, bitch. Alright, fine. I mean, I guess I could have just fucking nuked him with the Z-Saber. I always forget that I have that. Where's the body now? Oh, over there. I don't know what it is with Mega Man X and wanting to do things like vertically.
damn it. My timing's all off. I did it again. Well, that time I just messed it up entirely. So. <clears throat> that time I just messed it up entirely. I gotta get my fucking... Well, oh, that was my last life anyway. Alright. Alright. I need to get my timing right on the damn saber again. Oh yeah, I know, rain cloud. It just I just needed to do a round or so to get my mind around it like I usually do. I imagine that's going to be the case with a lot of these X games. It's been so long since I played most of them. <clears throat> well, in this form of Sigma sucks just cuz he's got a fucking shield cuz he's a dick. That's why I wanted to get the hang of the saber again. The ultimate battle body, and I can't move. I'm stuck in place. Ah, Now see, this is where I'm definitely gonna have to get used to. Right, okay, okay, there we go. All right, got it, I got the hang of it, we're good. Oh, really? Saber overpowered. Please don't. Doing okay there for a second. There we go. We're good. Yep. Damn, he built this hallway that has nothing at it.
his program is so totally fading that there's not going to be five more games. And then he just teleports out. That That's one thing I never understood about the end of X3. That he's like, oh no, I'm trapped at a dead end. And then after that happens, he just teleports out. So you're just like, wait, what? You could just teleport out? But, okay. To be honest, I probably should have been using the Z-Saber a lot more than I was. Definitely should have used it on Doppler. Why must Reploids fight against each other? That would be because Reploids are... They're trying to make Reploids close to humans, and uh, humans should fight each other. Because it... it it's just what they do. At least compared to X1 and X2. I like the ending music in X1. A note to X, his destiny has already been decided. He's got five more games. Yeah, they did away with that storyline pretty quick, didn't they? Because after fucking X5 and X6, they just completely forgot about that whole versus zero thing. It's just gone. They just drop it entirely. Noter banger. Customer. Ice dip. Wall cancer. Hamma mamma. Hamma hamma. I was not even hamma mamma. Hamma hamma. I want to boo. Yeah, my was a giant. Yeah, and fuck off, Mac. Nobody even cares about you. Hellcrusher, that's the same name. Yeah. Skeetus. Press disposer. Who most people don't even know is a thing. Oh, kangaroo is what that stands for. Okay. Could have fooled me. His big old feet. apparently decided that a fish needs to have fucking a catfish needs to be electrical yeah crush crawfish who is probably the toughest of the eight tunnel rhino is not bad once you get the uh, timing down Neon Tiger's not terrible either. 
I don't think Bit was that fast, but okay. Bit's harder than bite, yes, easily. Easily bit is harder than bite. I love how back then in X2 and X in X2 and X3 they had these uh, power level type of things that disappeared just as fast as power levels in Dragon Ball Z did. Oh, you're not going to give me a power level? What an asshole. 